trying to fill the uh, time until you... Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. What is this? Take a seat. If you are alone next Sunday, Valentine's Day, come to 214 Santa Monica Boulevard any time from noon onward and you may find what you are looking for affectionately. Happy Valentine's Day, kiddo. What are you doing? Okay. Everybody's arrived now, so we can uh, get started. I'd ask you here because I'd like to explore something with you. We are all, for one reason or another, alone in life. That is to say, none of us in this room is in a permanent relationship with somebody else, and I want to understand why. I want to understand why all of us, all of us here, are alone. Nature gives us loneliness, right? Right? It gives us loneliness. Well, why? It must be something positive. It must be something that nature wants us to have. Nature gives us pain so we won't burn ourselves in the fire, right? It gives us hunger so that we'll eat. We won't die of starvation, right? But why does it give us loneliness? It gives us loneliness so we will find each other. It gives us loneliness so we won't be alone. Loneliness is something good. Loneliness is something which nature gives us in order to see to it that we are not alone, finally. It is not natural for us to be alone. It is natural for us to be with somebody else. Yet our entire society, our entire culture is teaching us now that we're supposed to be alone, and it's good to be alone, that you learn how to be strong alone and healthy alone, well, on your own, autonomous, independent. But nature doesn't want any of that. If it did, it would have given us no loneliness. He's a crazy person I've known for years. I don't know if it's something about today. I don't know if it's something about the lives we, we live. I'd like to try to figure out why it is that we're all alone. <laughs> 